This year at the SIHH, Piaget presented two new métiers d'art, the Bolino and the Stream Show. Now let's speak with the artisan that created this dial. The Bolino engraving technique is uh, named by the um, tool that they used to do it. That means the engraving tool is called the Bolino Graber. And the Bolino Graber, they use it you know, on very luxury hunting guns, on engravings, uh, 40 years ago in Italy. And this is the... Um, you know, the situation that they had. Uh, they didn't know um, before about a Bolino uh, technique, so they found out uh, the special angle of, of this tool and that's why they call it the Bolino technique. And what I do now is I do my own, let me say, kind of Bolino technique, means uh, with very special uh, hand gravers and that's, yeah, that's the background about to know what the Bolino technique is. The Bolino is a tool and uh, you know, on one square millimeter, I do round about 200 hand engraved dots. So that means, in the end, um, the, the, the dots, uh, if you look to the dots, you get a realistic looking picture in the end. You know, and it depends how deep or how soft you do the engraving dots, and that's the let me say, basic and the secret behind. The second technique is called the scrimshaw engraving technique. And scrimshaw, they do it uh, mostly on, you know, um, materials like, for example, horn or like, uh, you know, in this case, we have a fossilized mammoth material from the tusk of a mammoth, which is more than 50 or 20,000 years old. And this technique is done, you know, with needles and most important, like I forget to tell you before, uh, you need a microscope to engrave. The scrimshaw technique, maybe uh, to tell you, it's a very old uh, technique of engraving. If you look back 40,000 years ago, people that we know, people used to engrave, you know, they hunted animals, they eat animals and also they engrave the bones and the tusk of the animals that they hunted. So the oldest artifacts are 40, Five forty-two thousand years old, and that's the root of this technique. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome.